Hello students. Um, today I wanted to go through the design a constellation assignment that was sent home. It is also posted on our Google Classroom here. If you look up by classwork, you will see that it is right here. Create a constellation. Okay, so let's go through what this says here. It says the constellation is a group of stars that, when viewed from Earth, form distinct shapes. Constellations have been around since the beginning of recorded history. Okay, so I put a couple pictures here together um, to talk about what constellations are. Okay, so we've got... Um, oh, okay. A long time ago, people used stars as a map to travel in the right direction. Okay, so they would be walking around at night with their herds of sheep or whatever it was that they were doing, and they didn't have any way to know if they were going in the right direction. And so they would look up at the sky and they would find a pattern of stars and they would follow the direction of those stars in order to know that they were walking in a straight line. Over time, they um, created stories about those patterns of stars. And so they thought that, for instance, Gemini looked like twins, or Orion looked like a hunter, or um, Canis Major looked like a big dog. We might not easily be able to see that, but there's a lot of different um, websites that will show you how these stars are connected to make the pictures that the myths go with. And you can kind of see here, um, how they used their imagination to look at those star patterns and kind of imagine another more realistic picture behind them. You see Ursa Major up here looks like a big bear. Um, Cassiopeia looks like a princess sitting in a chair. Um, Draco looks like a big dragon. Um, so there's a lot of different patterns in the sky, and in fact, there are 88 of those patterns. Um, oopsie. Let's see. Here we go. Nope. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> it says, constellations have helped people recognize and understand star patterns in the night sky. This knowledge provides practical information. For example, the star patterns help with navigation. By knowing the position of the North Star, which is one of the stars in the Big or the Little Dipper, people can determine their latitude and know what direction they are traveling at night. Obviously, looking at the stars for navigation doesn't work during the day. So, a long time ago, before any technology, people would travel great distances only at night so they could use the stars. All constellations have names. People have named the constellations. The Ursa Major constellation, also called the Great Bear, is a well-known constellation. The seven stars of the Big Dipper are part of the Ursa Major constellation. See if you can locate the Big Dipper at night. And I will be posting a couple videos um, tomorrow and over the weekend that will show you where to look in the night sky to find some of these constellations. It can be kind of tricky without some guidance, so um, please watch those videos and I can show you how to find some of the most popular constellations. Constellations can be drawn. People have made representations of the constellations. Most of these have dots for stars and lines that connect the stars. Um, and they together will show an outline of the figure that these um, these people way back in the day thought look like these pictures. Look at the representations of the Leo constellation. So this is what we would see in the sky. Obviously, we wouldn't see the lines. We would just see these dots as stars. And somehow, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, people thought that this shape looked like a lion. So they used their imagination and they um, drew out the lion behind it. Notice how 
they only used straight lines to connect the stars that they saw. Okay, so our assignment today is for you to use your imagination to create your own constellation. Think of something that you like or that is important to you. Think of how that could be shown as an item or a symbol. For example, if you enjoy hockey, you might use a hockey stick as a symbol. If you love music, you might use a music note. Okay, so you are going to just think today of what kind of constellation you want to create and, and you're going to make note of that somewhere. Now, I want you to make a couple little drawings. It says draw an outline of your item. Add the dots and the lines. Okay, so you are going to take whatever symbol you thought of and you're just going to make some simple dots that outline it and connect it with straight lines to show what your constellation would look like in the sky. And then over here, you are going to, um, you're going to draw, oh sorry, you're going to draw the dots and the lines over here and you're going to draw a picture of what you were imagining right over here. Okay, then the last page of that assignment asks you to make a final picture of your constellation and then come up with a myth or a story about what your constellation is about and you're going to write that here. I hope that helps you with this assignment and I hope that you are all doing well. I miss you so 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 much and I will talk to you soon.